September 4, Wednesday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. The demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord They interceded with him about her. Teaching and healing are powerful statements that the goodness of God's kingdom is at work in Jesus. Most often, we believe in God's entrance into our lives when we experience the Lord's healing touch that comes within the circle of the family. Simon's family intercedes with Jesus to do the healing. Likewise, the people of Capernaum bring their sick and Jesus lays his hands on them and cures them. In the context of the sacrament for the sick, let us hear the exhortation of the Apostle James. Is anyone among you sick? He should summon the presbyters of the church, and they should pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord, and the prayer of faith will save the sick person, and the Lord will raise him up. If he has committed any sins, he will be forgiven.